time on Races to Places, Lyndon and Tony hung out with some seals. Bed. It's on the paper, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Lyndon is getting a fire going. Must be cold this evening. Some rock rocks on the lid. might have had a spider in your bed. I've got a woman having an orgasm in mine. That's been a great spot to stay for the evening. Now, I said on the last episode that some penguins would be featuring this time. I'm pretty excited to see some penguins this morning. <laughs> you can see the pink king penguins are pretty, pretty big, 95 centimeters tall. Let's go take a look at them. <laughs> They're funny little dudes, are they? These penguins definitely have a hip way of walking. Cool dudes. What well, little fight going on there? Hey, wings are out. <laughs> no. He's oh, receding. Coming in to sort it out now. Here comes the bouncer. Where? Look at him using the wings for ba the little flappers for balance. Come on, guys. Let's join in the party here. Pub's over this way. <laughs> So what's going on here? Well, just doing a little bit of uh, roadside wheel balancing. You can see I've put a couple of weights on there. Um, just fitted a new tyre this morning, just a cheap ass tyre that I got from a small garage in Punta Arenas and uh, can tell it's a cheap tyre because it's uh, so far a whack. It's unreal. So I had to stop to balance it because it was just like vibrating like a son of a gun. So that's that done. So next on the agenda is Torres del Paine National Park. Let's see what this place has to offer. hike today and uh, there's only two hours of daylight left so I just dumped the bike here um, in this camping spot it's forecast super windy tomorrow so we're gonna go out hiking today um, but we have to be quick because it's uh, about an hour up there and an hour back so let's go
I mentioned earlier, the scenery isn't too bad down here. Just making uh, a cappuccino, and uh, this morning I'm solo. Um, maybe before yesterday, um, I made the decision to depart from Tony after travelling for five months together. Tony was a massive help preparing for the Dakar, running around, collecting things, and he really is a great guy and a great travel partner. And we've been friends for some 12 years, so I'm sure we've got some more adventures to come. Uh, in the future but for me I just felt like um, I needed to bust out I needed to go solo for for the last four to six weeks in South America um, needed some time alone uh, needed to do some different exploring and some more filming and photography which I do less of when I'm when I'm with somebody else it's not because they stop me doing it it's just how I feel when I'm with somebody else that I don't stop as much and um, so it was a tough decision, um, I know Tony understands and as I say we're really great friends so I'm sure we'll do something else together in the future but, uh, but for now um, here we are in Patagonia, Chile and it's time to start exploring solo. So I hiked up to take a look. It's just amazing, all the meltwater just coming down and transitioning from one lake to another. Check this fox out. Doesn't have a care in the world. There he goes. <laughs> Today, we're back in Argentina and visiting Perito Moreno Glacier. So today we're going to go visit um, Perito Moreno Glacier, one of the most spectacular glaciers in the world. Uh, we've got a super windy day so it's going to be difficult trying to film anything with sound. But we're going to give it the best shot, um, it should be fun. The Perito Moreno Glacier is located in the Los Glaciares National Park. Southwest Santa Cruz, Argentina. This glacier is unusual because it is advancing when most glaciers worldwide are retreating. It has an average ice depth of 74 meters and is around 30 kilometers long. It's time to get off the boat, don some crampons and take a closer look at the glacier.
is uh, is pure, and uh, apparently there's little if not no minerals in it at all. Let's see what it tastes like. Pretty cool. Perfect. The ice at its thickest point on this glacier is 650 meters thick. 650 meters. It was drilled using high pressure steam by some Japanese scientists to figure out how, how deep it was at the main, at the center section of the glacier. Shot of whiskey with glacier house ice. It's been a while since Lyndon and Basil did a good wheelie, so here you go. Well, this is route to 40 after some heavy rain yesterday. Normally this is a really good road, but it's just turned into mush. Look at that. Wow, this route of 40 really did get honked up in all the rain. Look at all the ruts there. I mean, oh, slippy there. I mean, look how deep this rut is here. Then my feet are catching on the sides. Ooh. I took sat waiting rather than uh, to risk going through there. Sometimes I get asked, how do you find a campsite? Well, like tonight, what we did is we we're on this road here, see the bridge over the river. I was riding along, saw the river. Oh great, perfect place to wash the pans after I've cooked my evening meal. Have a look at the riverbank, saw that there was a little bit of a bank in here, so clearly it doesn't flood. You can see the sunset behind me, that's quite nice. Um, find a nice flat space with not too much cow poo. And uh, voila, set up the tent. What a perfect evening. Time to start cooking. Spaghetti bolognese tonight, I think, but with tuna because I don't have any beef. Looks like Lyndon needs some fuel for his cooking stove. This is his full tin. I am hungry. Next time on Races to Places, it's going to be emotional as Lyndon saves some abandoned puppies. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day. Please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, 
Informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.